even without a song, I want you to worship the Lord in this praise in the name of Jesus Christ. Lima shaturu koriba shakayante rikoriba shikayanta. Oh God, how we worship you. We give you all the glory, we give you all the honor. We give you the adoration, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lima shaturu koriba shanda. The hidden glory of God. The glory of God, Jesus Christ. That you are with God in creation. And still are today in the heavenly praises. We worship you. We give you all the honor. We give you all the of We honor your name, Jesus. For you are the lion. And yet you are the Lamb of God. We worship you. We exalt you. Lama Shetere Karina Mashanda. Yekori Bashandoro Kori Bazakayanda. From our hearts, Lord, we worship you. We exalt you, Lord. We honor you, Jehovah God. In the name of Jesus Christ. We worship you, Lord. We honor you, Jehovah God. We honor you, Jehovah God. We honor you,
In Jesus' name. Celebration of the Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. The Bible says that every good and perfect gift comes from above. Hallelujah. Ametupa zawadi, ametupa mabo ya ajabu. Bwana apewe sifa. Ametupa perfect gift. Bwana apewe sifa. Hiyo gift ni Jesus abaya kadani yetu. Wokovu abaya ametupa. It's a perfect gift. Na tena amekupa uhai, amekupa guvu, amekupa familia, amekupa eh, fellowship. We fellowship together because of Jesus. Hallelujah. So clap your hands. Lift up his name. Hallelujah. Let us worship him and praise him because he is good. Hallelujah. Give Jesus my coffee. Give me my coffee. Who give me the prayer?
ambata asiye badilika. Bwana asifiwe. Watu marafiki wanaweza badilika. Lakini Yesu hawezi badilika. Amen. Nataka tu apigie makofi mazuri our praise and worship team. Mungu awabariki na tuongoza vizuri. Thank God for you. Naomba niwape nafasi mkaketi ili tuendelee. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Nitieni nguvu kidogo. Unajua ni mara yangu ya kwanza kufika hapa, tena hiyo sauti ikiwa tini na mimi nitaenda tini kabisa. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. We thank God for that. Majina yangu naitwa Dedan Nguge Kariuki na nimeokoka. Kristo ni Bwana. Mimi na Yesu ni marafiki. Amen. Nashukuru Mungu kwa nafasi hii njema ambayo ametupa kila mmoja wetu tukafika katika nyumba yake. Maana kwa nyumba yake kuna kile mimi na wewe tunahitaji. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa hivyo nawakaribisha walio mtandaoni karibuni sasa sana we are Jesus Outreach na tunamshukuru Mungu kwa nafasi hii njema. Pia ningetaka kutoa shukurani za kipekee kwa my dad bishop and mom pastor Josephine kwa kunipa nafasi hii nikasimama katika haya madhabahu. I don't take this for granted. Thank you for your guidance, thank you for your mentorship and may God bless you. Amen. Si tuwapigie makofi, si wamelea ni vizuri. Si wamenilea. Eh, yeah, tuwashangilie tuwa kidogo. Kwa nafasi hii sijui kama kunaye mgeni ambaye mtutembelea siku ya leo. Ikiwa ni mara yako ya kwanza, tunatambua uwepo wako hapa. Kama uko pale umekaa chini, naomba tu unionyeshe kwa ishara ya mkono. Tunaye yeyote ametutembelea. Ah, please Jesus, tumpigie makofi. Tumpigie makofi karibu sana. Hata sisi tulija siku ya kwanza tukiwa wageni. Kama mimi nikija, nilikuwa nimekaa pale. Na mwenye alikuwa anaongoza ibada ni rafiki yangu. Na siku nataka kutambuliwa kama mgeni. Sasa akiuliza kama kuna wageni, nilikuwa tu najipinda. Na yule alikuwa mbele yangu, najipinda asinione. Bwana asifiwe. Lakini Mungu ni mwema, tulikuwa tukiwa wageni, sasa sisi ni wenyeji. Kwa hivyo na wewe dada, karibu sana. Na ibada inapoisha, usitoke kwa haraka. Kwalimbie tu hapa, kuna yeye atakushirikia. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Kwa nafasi hii nataka kutoaita wanakwaya, wanatumbuizo, wana ministration. Kwa hivyo tuwape makofi mazuri na ni warembo. Karibuni sana wanakwaya. Karibuni sana. Tuwape masikio yetu, tusikie wametuandalia nini. Karibuni sana. Wapigie ni makofi kabla tu wafike hapa.
makofi, tuwapigia makofi mazuri. Thank you, thank you anakwaya. Ni kweli njia ni msalaba. Wapigieni makofi mazuri. Huo ujumbe ni wa maana sana. Ni ujumbe ambao unaandamana na mambo hayo tunayo tunayapitia. Bwana asifiwe. Ah, nafikiria ni vizuri wakati mwingine tunachukua mambo ambayo si kama kawaida ila tu tunaona ni Mungu ametutendea. Bwana asifiwe. Nataka tu kuhadithia kidogo na maybe wale watu waliosoma group of schools those days kama mimi, brother Simon, brother Mwinami au tumesoma group of schools those days eh. Tukitoka twende nyumbani ulikuwa unaenda about 4 kilometers away from school. Nakumbuka ni group of schools. Unaona 4 kilometers away eh. Sasa ukifika pale nyumbani kuna hiyo kazi ambayo lazima ungefanya. Upende usipende. Hiyo kama umekula ama hujakula ni lazima ungefanya. Either unyonyizie mimea maji ama kuna zile jerrycans za 20 liters kama tatu lazima ujaze maji. Sasa hapa umetoka mbio shule ukifika nyumbani. Unapata nyumbani kumenyamaza kimya. Njaa ndio hiyo, kuchoka ndio hiyo. Nakumbuka those days Kamati ya disciplinary ilikuwa kali sana. Afadhali tu ufanye kazi kama una njaa lakini usikutane na hiyo kamati. Bwana zifiwe. Kwa hivyo unajikaza tu ukifanya kazi hiyo. Lakini kuna siku nyingine kwa bahati mzuri unaenda nyumbani unajua those days kuna zile kajiko nyobane ne? na kaliko. Lugha yake una kaliko kwa ina gatogo. Utakinyeta musi. Unasema good mama yuko nyumbani. Bwana asifiwe. Hata kama kuna kazi, mama akoni wapi? Ako nyumbani. Kuna kitu hata kama ni katurungi tu utapata kabla ufanye kazi. Na hiyo siku unajua kama umempata hakuna kamati ya disciplinary. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa wakati huu tuna bahati. Mama yuko nyumbani. Nataka tumshangilie vizuri anapofika. Maana ametuandalia ili na yeye aendelee hapo pengine. Karibu sana mam. Karibu sana. And God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Let's appreciate Mr. Dedan in a better way. <laughs> wow. Amen. We thank God. What a story. I was not even ready. I was waiting for more and more. And the mom is home as he says. We thank God. Amen. Are you blessed this uh, afternoon? To my barikiwa. We thank God for the grace. We thank God for the anointing. Na hata wewe kutia kauli, kukata kauli ya kuja kushiriki na sisi. We bless God, feel at home, feel at the feet of Jesus. This is the best place you can ever be on such a Sunday. And we bless God because ata mwezi haijaenda sana. You all look so beautiful and I tell you, hiyo kiti umekalia. Kama hunge kata kauli ya kukuja, hainge kaliwa na mtu. Amen. So make it a point. That usipokuja kuna kiti yatuko itakuwa empty. And as we were taught this morning about the grace and the coverage of God upon our lives, I believe that kila, mtu, kila mmoja wetu tumekata kauli and we will walk with that word and we will apply it. Amen? Yes, I'm so blessed. I am born again. I love Jesus as my personal savior. And I love you. I love my family. And I'm so happy. Kwa sababu kama tunge kuja tu na mi nikiwa support system ya our reverend nikiwa peke yangu. Si unaona hakunge kuwa na flow mzuri. Yeah, so we thank God for everything. At this moment ningependa. I'm sorry. Ni, ni simu ime misbehave hapa but we thank God. I want to have that scripture uh, Proverbs chapter 22 verse 17. Proverbs chapter 22 verse 17 as we are about to hear the word of the Lord. Um, the Bible says incline your ear and hear the words of the wise. Ningependa tu tusome wote because hii ni scripture ni, ni mependa sana and I believe it is working and it will work for us even as we receive the man of God. Amen. One, two, three, go. Incline your ear and hear the words of the wise and apply your heart to my knowledge. 18. For 
it is a pleasant thing if you keep them within you, then let them all be fixed upon your lips. We pause there. Early this morning, we had the privilege of hosting uh, the man of God by the honor mandate, Apostle uh, Dr. Moses Karaoke, and he taught us so powerfully about honoring the coverage or honoring the umbrella that we sit or serve under. It was such a powerful teaching this morning, and I want to urge our online uh, family and even us, you can buy a seed, it's only a hundred, Twenda nyumbani to skize pole pole to kiandika notes. It was very powerful about the grace of God. And now because we are already set to hearing the word of God. Biblia imetuambia that incline your ear and hear. These are the wise words of Solomon. Give it to me again. Na pale wakati nimesema pause. Imesema incline your ear and hear the words of the wise. Mungu mwenyewe haongeangi tu kuongea. Mungu ananena hekima. Mungu ananena neno ambalo anajua atakuja kulitimiza. Mungu anajua ananena neno ambalo litaleta mwangaza na nuru katika maisha yetu. Mungu ananeno, ananena neno la kwamba ya kwamba itakuwa ni ishara ako pamoja na sisi. Praise the name of the Lord. Kwa hivyo Solomon anasema, "E hey, Bwana, Na heri ungenisikia na mi, un, heri unge, unge in, unisikize na mimi niweze kusikia maneno ya hekima nayo nitaiweka in in my heart I will apply it in my heart praise the name of the Lord hili neno lisije likapotea lisije likaibiwa na distractions lisije likaibiwa na hasira lisije li, likaibiwa na hata baridi ambayo imeja Praise the name of the Lord. Na wakati tunamalizia inasema ya kwamba, we apply it on our lips. That this word tutainena, tukipokea, mungu wakiachilia, tukiweka kwa roho, nasi tutai apply in our day-to-day lives. Amen. That is the word apostle alituachia ya kwamba, even as we have the honor coverage, Praise the name of the Lord. Tunaeneza injili ya nyumbani mwetu. Tunaeneza injili ya mtumishi wa bwana. Na hata sasa wakati tunapokea neno lake. Tutaeneza injili ya kwamba mungu alitunenea. Na mungu ametutembelea. Mungu ametuponya. Mungu ametukomboa. Mungu amewasha nuru yake juu yetu. Mungu ameachilia upendo wake, Mungu ameachilia upako wake, Mungu amenikumbuka, Mungu ameniguza. Praise the name of the Lord. And now without much ado, kindly help me even as we rise up to appreciate the servant of God, the father of the house, our prophet, Reverend John Bogwa. If you love your father, you can appreciate him much better as he comes. He is so sharp today. Amen. 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 Just a minute. Just a minute. Good morning, sir. Good morning, madam. You're looking very sharp. And we are ready to receive the word of God. Even as God uses you as his own vessel. Church, with, the, with much joy, let's appreciate Reverend Job. Hata kama mafuta ilikuwa chini, sasa inapanda. Uh, let us celebrate her also in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, some introductions are heavy. And uh, you know, nimeagaliwa mpaka magoti, nikasikia ni kama hile ya Biblia, ikanataka kugogana. But I thank God for his grace. I request that you sit down for a while, then I will tell you when to stand up. Uh, nina mshukuru buwana kwa sababu ya kutupatia nafasi nyingine tuwe kwa nyumba yake ili aweze kunena nasi na sisi tuweze kumuabudu 
na zote tuweze kubarikiwa pamoja katika jina la Yesu Kristo. I want to do something before I go to the word of God. And I want to dedicate the children so that we can finish up with that and then go to hearing the word of God. And this dedication today is including some children that are not here. They are all the way in the United States of America. And they have sent their envelopes. The mother has sent their envelopes to us. And we have one, three girls. One of them is called Blessing Jerry, Joy Zawadi, and Ami Jambi Gatihe. All these are sisters. The mother says that she is part of this altar. She's saying that even being far in the United States, she is still connected to this altar. And she says that her children must also be connected to this altar by the reason of being dedicated from this altar. And she has sent an envelope for each one of them to connect them to this altar. And when they are connected to this altar, this altar will fight for them. This altar will speak for them. This altar will defend them and will preserve their lives in Jesus' name. Now, I know they are watching and I want to say that in the spirit, there is no distance. What we do here affects you where you are. The blessings we release here, they get you where you are. No matter the country you are in, as long as you are connected to this altar, whatever the people in the house enjoy, you also enjoy where you are. And therefore, as we dedicate the other children, these are, they are not real children, they, 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 they are mature girls, they are big girls, but because they were not dedicated here, we are rededicating them to God via this altar, that this altar may become their altar to defend them, to fight for them, to preserve their lives. Therefore, I want to ask all the people that have children to be dedicated wale wote ambao wana watoto wa kutiwa wakfu tafadhali you may come here in front wale watoto wote wana tiwa wakfu tafadhali mama gashoka are they here hallelujah if they are not here then okay i see okay come 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 Let them come in Jesus' name. We are putting these envelopes on this altar, representing every one of the girls, as we also dedicate these other children. Please just rise up and closer to the altar in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Watu hapa wamefanya kazi kabisa. Tuwapigie makofi, makofi, makofi. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay. We uko na wawili. Okay, sawa, sawa. So, I request the church to be upstanding in the name of Jesus. Let's pray together. And before we pray, I want to say this, that it is the will of God that children are dedicated. And we dedicate them so that we can commit them into the hands of God, the God that is able to keep 
the God that is able to preserve, the God that is able to mold and make them become. When we put them in the hands of God, then their lives are secure. Their lives will progress and they are preserved from every power of the enemy. That is what we, we mean in this church when we dedicate them. We are putting them in the hands of God. We are removing them from the hands of the parent and putting them into the hands of God. And therefore, as we pray, we are releasing these children into the hands of God that God may preserve them and that God may mold their lives and make them what he had designed from the beginning. I request the church to lift up your hands towards these children together with their parents. And let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we worship your name this morning. We declare that you are God and besides you there is no other. You are the blesser of men. You have blessed these parents with children. My father, we thank you and we worship your name. There are many other parents that are crying today because they have no children. But behold, you have given them the children that are standing before your altar. And father, in the name of Jesus... I stand upon this altar to declare your blessing upon every child that is standing before your altar. I declare preservation for every child in the name of Jesus. I declare that no devil shall be able to touch any of these children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I separate them from every kind of evil. I separate them from every hand of the enemy and I declare that these children are blessed from today. These children are preserved from today. Their future is bright. Their future is blessed in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I dedicate them into your hand. The hands of security, the hand of preservation, the hand that molds people to become what you intended for them to become. Mold every one of these children, oh God. Father, keep each one of these children, preserve their lives, oh God. We are declaring open doors for them in life. We are declaring your blessing now, your blessing tomorrow, and your blessing in the future concerning their lives. We pray, oh God, even that they are, the, as they grow old, your grace shall envelop their lives. The sicknesses that comes to children, we separate them from them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are declaring from this altar, none of these children will die prematurely. We declare that, oh God, you shall fulfill their days in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every evil arrow directed to these children, we break it now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil word ever spoken against these children, we cancel those words in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are declaring their lives are blessed. Their lives are preserved. Their lives are defended by you. We cover each one of them with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And we declare that this blood we will keep them, we will speak in their lives, and we will defend them from every attack of the enemy. Together with the ones that are in the U.S., oh God, Father, whose envelopes we have put here on the altar, we speak concerning the life of Emmy Getihi, we speak upon the life of Joy Zawadi, and blessing Jerry. In the name of Jesus, combining them with this 
ones that are alive on the altar, declaring their lives blessed, their lives preserved in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, as I lay my hands on these children, I declare their preservation. I declare their blessing. I declare that their lives are hid in Christ in you, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I dedicate you in the name of Jesus Christ into the hands of God. I dedicate you in the name of Jesus Christ into the hands of God. I dedicate you in the name of Jesus Christ into the hands of God. I dedicate you in the name of Jesus Christ into the hands of God. I dedicate you in the name of Jesus Christ into the hands of God. I dedicate you in the name of Jesus Christ into the hands of God. I dedicate you in the name of Jesus Christ into the hands of God. I dedicate you in the name of Jesus Christ into the hands of God. I dedicate you in the name of Jesus Christ into the hands of God. I dedicate you in the name of Jesus Christ into the hands of God. I dedicate I dedicate blessing Jerry in the name of Jesus into the hands of God. I dedicate Joy Zawadi in the name of Jesus into the hands of God. I dedicate Emi Jabigati in the name of Jesus into the hands of God. And Father, I pray for the parents that you shall give them grace to bring up these children in a godly way. Father, let them lack nothing for their children. In the mighty name of Jesus, I cover these families with the blood of Jesus. I dedicate even the mothers, the fathers, and the entire families into your hands. Let these families be blessed. Let your glory rest upon these families. Let people say that God is with them. We thank you, Father. We worship you and we honor you. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Shout a big amen, church. Let us celebrate the Lord for these children. What we, was, we are saying as you are standing before this altar, we shall join the weddings of all these children. Here. We are declaring they will get married and we shall join them here. And we shall dedicate their children also in the mighty name of Jesus. We are declaring their future is bright and it cannot be otherwise in Jesus' mighty name. You are blessed and highly favored. You can get back to your seats in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. Now I request the church to sit down to take your seats. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Bible says in that scripture that we always mention here in the book of Job 22 verse number 28 and you shall decree a thing and it shall be established for you. Now what we have declared today concerning those children it will be established by God in their lives. We shall join them in holy matrimony. They shall have children and we shall dedicate them. You look at me the way you are looking at me, but we are saying they shall get married and they shall have children and we shall dedicate the children here. Our work is to declare. His work is to establish. We are also declaring that these young girls that are in the U.S., that God will preserve them. God will give them husbands. God will give them children. And their children also shall be dedicated from this altar. Because their mothers are connected to this altar. Their grandmother will be connected to this altar. Their mother will be connected to this altar. The children are connected to this altar. 
all these children we have prayed for, together with the one in the, in the states, we declare they will prosper in every area of their lives and there will be no barrenness of any kind in Jesus' precious name. Let's put our hands together for the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So I welcome each one of you and uh, also the people that are watching us online, you are welcome to this service. In Ibada ya Piri, tulikuwa na Ibada ya Kwanza, ambapo tulikuwa na mtume Moses Karioki kutoka na Kuru, na alitunenea kwa jia kuu sana. Na ninaomba kama haukueko, unaweza kurudi kwa Facebook kwa sababu hatuja iyo doa hiyo ujumbe ambao, huo ujumbe ambao ame, ame tuhubiria subuhi ya leo. Unaweza kwenda kwa Facebook na uweze kusikiza huo ujumbe ama ununue kanda kama vile Pastor Josephine alisema unaweza ukapata hiyo CD uweze kusikiza yale maneno ambayo mtume alikuwa ametumwa na Mungu kutupatia I was blessed and I thank God for the man of God Father in the name of Jesus we thank you and we worship you. Thank you for what you have already done. Thank you for what you are doing. And thank you for what you are about to do. To you alone, be the glory, be the honor, and be the praises. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Everybody shout a big amen. I will be mixing the languages as usual. I will do in Kikuyu, Kiswahiri, and English together so that all of us may feel part and parcel of the sermon. But I want to us to go to the word of God. We will read several verses of scripture. Then we shall enter into what God has read in my heart. Then we shall go into a session of prayer based on the word that we are about to hear. I want us to read from the book of Psalm, chapter number 50. We will begin verse number 9 all the way to 13. Then we, I will tell you the other verses that we are going to read as we continue. The Bible says, from 9 to 13, Psalms 50, I will not take a bull from your house, nor goats out of your folds, for every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle on a thousand hills. I know all the birds of the mountains, and the wild beasts of, uh, of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world is mine, and all its fullness. Will I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? In other words, before I read the other ones, because this was, 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 is different from the other verses that we are going to read, God is saying, I am different from man. He's saying, will I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? So I want you to look at your neighbor because I want this to sink as we go to hear this word. Tell them God is different. He is not a man. So you must understand that God has his own ways and man has his own ways. And the Bible says the ways of God are higher far above the ways of men. Let me say this. When God decides to do something, he doesn't require the permission of men. Wakati mungu anataka kutenda jambo, hahitaji ruhusa ya binadamu. Kwa nini? Yeye Ni mungu. Now let's go to the word that I want to 
to, to, to dwell on today. Psalms 29, verse 3, to verse, all the way to verse 11. Now hear this. Now listen to this. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. Yes, the, the, yes, the Lord printers the cedars of Lebanon. He makes them also skip like calf. Lebanon and Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord divides the flames of, the, of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the deer give birth and strips the forest bare. And in his temple, everyone says glory. The Lord sat enthroned at the flood, and the Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Ezekiel 42 verse, 43 verse number 2. Ezekiel 43 verse number 2. And behold, the glory of God of Israel came from the way of the east. His voice was like the sound of many waters, and the earth shone with his glory. Second Samuel chapter number 22, verse 14 and verse 15, and we stop there. The Lord thundered from heaven. And the Most High uttered his voice. He sent out arrows and scattered them, rightening bolts, and he vanquished them. I want to bring us a message this afternoon that I've titled, The Voice of God Makes the difference. The voice of God makes the difference. Ya kwamba sauti ya mungu dio inareta utofauti. Mugabo wangai neguwa ole haga otiganu moto ureine. The voice of God brings all the difference. Let me make some few statements as I begin this sermon. And say the voice of God is greater than the voice of men and the voice of the devil. Mugaboa gai. Nemunene na we na hinya. Wukira megaboya do. Na megaboya goma. His voice is greater than the voices of men and the voices of the devil. Number two, where the voice of God is, that is where the power of God is. Halia mugaboa gayuri, hau neho hinyawake okorago. Pahala sauti ya mungu iko. Nazo guvu zake ziko hapo. Where the voice of God is, that is where his power is. Number three, you can never hear the voice of God and remain the same. It is impossible for you to hear the voice of God and remain the same. Goti gihote keka, wigwe muga bo mete kwe gai. Namutorina waku, wikare or guhana. No ginyanagia, muga boshio wa gai. 
wake ndo muturireine waku that will be evident that will be a testimony that god has spoken into your life number 4 the voice of god contains the power that can change anything and everything the voice of god contains the power that can change anything and everything Mugabosho wa Ngai ukoraguo na hinya thini waguo wagucenjia indo ciothe na maundu mothe thini wa muturire Na I am praying that God will speak into your life God will speak into your families God will speak into your situations. Why? Because it is that voice of God that will bring the difference in your life. Dili gai aria thini wa muturire waku, aria thini wa family yaku, aria thini wa kihiko giaku, aria thini wa mwiri waku. That is what brings all the difference. Number 5 When God speaks things are created out of nothing When God speaks things are created out of nothing Ogwe ne kuga tereri hidere ya gaiaria Heido na maundu mo bagwo kuma he kindu hatari I will explain as we continue Ya kwamba wakati wa wote Jehova ananena kuna vitu ambazo zinaundwa kutoka kwa kwera kwa tena githweli out of nothing out of nothing had kidu gutare that god can create something out of nothing gai no be kidu kuma kwa kidu hatari so when the voice of god speaks he creates out of nothing so Let's ask ourselves. I want us to go step by step because I want us to pray. What happens when God speaks? What happens? Niki wiki kaga hederia gayaria. Twathoma thini wa thafuri 29 from verse 3 to verse 11. Twaigua mugabo wa gai, mugabo wa gai, mugabo wa gai, mugabo wa gai una gaga mesishida ya Lebanon. Mugabo wa gai ogayokanagia mai mugabo wa gai, mugabo wa gai. We've had the voice of god the voice of god the voice of god so there must be something very important when you see a whole psalm being dedicated to speaking about the voice of god there is something special about the voice of god ogiona bible ekiade kamithi tare migiuguo ya mugabo wa ngai no nginyanagia gukorwo mugabo wa ngai heno duikaga yatwira mugambo wa ngai unangaga mitara kwa ya lebanoni ugayukanagia mai wikaga maundu mari andu matangihota guika so there are things that the voice of god does in our lives number one, the voice of god silences the voice of men and the voice of the devil in our lives Mugabo wa ngai hinderia woka okiragia migambo ya ngoma no gakiria migambo ya andu thini wa mitore itu gutirama kania uri andu maugite gutirama kania uri ngoma igite ngai wonaria akajaga miario yothe migambo ya ngoma na migambo ya andu and i am declaring in this service may god speak in your life that he may silence the voice of men and the voice of the devil concerning your life lift up your hand and say father in the name of jesus speak in my life ugana ge koyo fafa thine wale twale ya jesu aria muturira ine wakwa Hidere ya gai ali amutore ni waku ahigaga megambo yothe aruga magia megambo yothe ya goma na megambo yothe ya ndu Nogwo nigwo gai ekire go okire gwika goko he is stopping 
every voice of man and every voice of the devil concerning your life, concerning your family, concerning your business, and concerning this ministry, there is a voice that is about to speak that will stop every other voice in our lives, in our ministries, in our lives, and in everything that is called by us. I pray that God's voice will be heard by your enemies. I pray that God's voice will be heard by those that are opposing you. When God speaks, he silences the voices of men and the voices of the devil. Number two, every time God speaks, speaks he preserves lives and secures their tomorrow. The voice of God preserves lives and secures their tomorrow. When God speaks in your life, he will preserve your life and he will secure your tomorrow. Atomaga motore na waku okoro we mogitere na roshior wakuru rodaka. And this is what I want to say here: that as God speaks in your life, your life will be preserved. Your tomorrow will be secure. Ni naomba ya kwamba Jehovah nene maisha ni moako dio maisha yako iwe imehifadhiwa na yeye mwenyewe. So number two things that happens is that when God speaks, he preserves lives and secures the future. Number three, every time God speaks, he produces hope in your life and in your situation. The voice of God produces hope in your situation. I know kuna watu hapa ambao wakijiagalia wanaona hakuna kitu inaenda vizuri maisha ni mwao. Lakini ni kuambie wakati Jehovah ananena katika maisha maisha ni mwako lazima kutakuwa na tumaini. Kuna watu hawana tumaini. Lakini wakati Jehovah ananena unapata tumaini. Nina kuombea ya kwamba Jehova anene maisha ni mwako dio aweze kuleta tumaini maisha ni mwako may god speak in your life and give you hope in your situation i know you have tried many things and they are not working but i came to introduce something the voice of god that makes the difference in the lives of men so number 3 is that that voice of God when God speaks he produces hope in your situation number four, he brings change and turn around in your life he brings change and turn around in your life he also at the same time he brings the restoration that you needed wakati wa wote jehova ananena maisha ni mwetu analeta mabadiliko kuna mambo umekuwa ukiomba ya badilike lakini hayajabadilika ninataka kukwambia whenever god speaks he brings change and a turn around in our lives he brings restoration things that were not working they begin to work maudu matararutaga wera makajia kuruta wera rege gaya kagarura muturire ni undu wa kwaria when he speaks he brings change he brings turn around he brings restoration he brings deliverance number 5 whenever god speaks he strengthens you in every area of your life lili agai aria muturireini waku agwikira gahinya Motorereino aku akoheaga hinya mwero he gives you strength the voice of god is what gives people strength noigwa oli abaibo iga hau 
yega ati we newe ohe aga dwari ga hinya wa guciarira githaka na gutire nyamu ingigiria dwari ga igie na mwana ni oiga ni ositeithagia his voice mut mugambo wake utumaga dwari ga iciare if I may use that word, I know Mutia da kuigua kiko kiu, but dadu Mutia maiga kiko kiu tike kama na kuwa kuhelo moana. Not oiga terere, Bible yako kuyuga terere. Muga boa guy, nego to maga zwari ga isiare. I want to declare to somebody here, God will give you new strength to do what you are supposed to do, because His voice produces strength in the lives of men. Reap up your hand and say, Father, give me strength to do what I'm supposed to do. Now, yeah, it's verse 9. The voice of the Lord makes the deer give birth. That is the voice. Whatever has been impossible for you to do, when you receive the voice from, when God speaks into your life, then you receive strength. To do the impossible. Look at your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, it is only the voice of God that will help you to do the impossible. Number six, when God speaks into your life, he gives you direction. Anakupatia muerekeo. Hidiria gaya ya moto rila inuaku, akuonagia jera. It is, let me say this. It is not every route that will take you to your blessing. But when the voice of God, when God speaks into your life, he directs you on the way to go. Now hear this. God knows where your blessing is. God knows where your wife is. God knows where your husband is, the one that will marry you. God knows where your blessing is. God knows where your door is. When he speaks into your life, he gives you direction. I pray for you. May God speak in your life and give you direction to your blessing, to your success, to your promotion, to your lifting. To everything that you require in life. Gai arawali ya motorele ino waku. Nige edha kuonia jera. Ere ya oko gera umerele kera adhimo ile gaku. Number seven. The, the, when God speaks in your life. He gives you boldness and courage to move forward. When God speaks into your life. He gives you boldness. He gives you courage to move forward. They don't have the boldness. But Boldness and courage to move ahead. When God speaks. Into the life of a man, he gives that man boldness. He gives that man courage to be able to move forward. And number eight is that he breaks protocols to bless your life. Whenever God speaks into the life of a man, that voice is able to break protocols. To bless your life. What are protocols? Me fa gire no area kora gwe igwe to kai gwe. Nige do gie kenare wagiri ruo nego e kao. No gaiyari ya ehera gie ki wagiri ruo nego e ka oge kora we kuo. I am praying for you. Dera hoera mo do wa the we go ko that the voice of God will remove the protocols in order for you to be blessed. Let the protocols be removed and your blessing. Be received in your hands. May God speak in your life. Look at your neighbor and say, May God speak in your life. Gai alia motorele ino aku. Gai eheria ire midhiria shio the. Shigira giorazimo. Eheria all the protocols that are supposed to be followed. Know what happens? When God speaks, he can move you 
from behind and take you to the front and remove the protocols of waiting on the rain. That's what is what happened. And let me tell you this. Even when God has spoken and the protocols are removed for your blessing, there are people who will not be happy. That is when God speaks, he removes some protocols so that you can be able to access your blessing in life. Number nine, when God speaks, he removes the mountains on your path. He removes the mountains on your path and dismantles every obstacle. He removes them by his voice. The voice of God breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He's saying that when he speaks, do the kid here. I want you to listen, because that is a very powerful scripture. At the alia, meshida lebanoni, eke atora. Eke atora, kona mutenwe atora, oke atora, oke komia. Why? Because there is a voice that is not like any other voice. The voice of God is not the voice of man. The voice of God is not like the voice of the devil. The voice of God is able to remove every mountain on the path to your destiny. I pray that God will speak in your life and remove every mountain and dismantle every obstacle in your life. Number 10. When God speaks, he silences the voice of shame. He silences the voice of struggle, he silences the voice of failure. The area of the guy earlier, Akira Gia Mugabo Wageshonoko, Agakiria Mugabo Wakogiginyana, Nagakiria Mugabo Akohoto. God speaks in your life to bring an end to shame. To bring an end to struggles. To be, bring an end to every kind of failure. When that voice comes, it is a voice that has the power to stop every shame, to stop every struggle, and to stop every kind of failure. And number 11, and I want to stop there. Every time God speaks into the life of a person, he disappears points the expectations of the enemies. He disappoints the expectations of your enemies. Matarajio ya madui ya navunjua na sauti ya Jehovah. Na ninaomba ya kwamba wale walikuwa wanatarajia utaenda chini. Jehovah atanena maisha ni mwako. Dio aweze kuyavunja na kukatisha matumaini ya kira adui. Lift up your hand and say, Father, speak into my life. When he speaks, he disappoints the expectations of your enemy. Now, let me now go come to the word, to reading, to mentioning some scriptures. Genesis chapter 1, the entire of it, we are not going to read because it, they, 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 they are quite a, a, a number of uh, verses in that. I think they are almost 31 or something verses 
in Genesis chapter 1. I have not checked, but I know it's above 30. And I want to deal with that. In Genesis chapter 1, the main thing that God did was to speak. The Bible says he spoke and the right came. He spoke and the heavens were formed. He spoke and the land was made. He spoke and the fish appeared. He spoke and the animals appeared. He spoke and all the plants came out from the ground. The voice of God made everything that you see and everything that you don't see. That voice. It is the voice of God that made the difference. Please, can we read Genesis chapter 1, verse number, let's begin verse number 1. In the beginning, God created heavens and the earth. Verse 2. The earth was without form. Very key. The earth was without form. And void. And darkness was on the face of the deep. And the spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Now. The Bible is saying. There, the earth was without form. It was empty. It was void. And darkness covered it. But when God began to speak, that which had no form got form. That which was empty, it was filled. That which was engulfed by darkness, light came. I declare to somebody here that you who have no form, God is about to speak in your life to give you form. Adumatare na muere kera gaya hakuwe kuali ya metore na ine anyu. Amuhe muere kera. Kwe na adumare aro amutore na wao. Okara na kehikoge yaku. Okara na famere yaku. Moko na motiri na formu. You are formless. But I declare by the word of God. As we pray today, Jehovah will speak in your life and he will bring form in your life. So God spoke almost the entire of Genesis chapter 1. Let there be, 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 let there be. And when he finished saying let there be, Something he says in verse number 31. Please, can we read verse number 31? He says, after he, he, he spoke everything, then he says, then God saw everything he had made. How did he make it? By speaking his voice. His voice made everything. Everything he made, he looked at it. What he spoke it came to be. And when it came to be, he looked at everything and everything he has made was very good. Then God saw everything that he has made and indeed it was very good. Let me say this. Every time God speaks into your life, he makes your life good. He makes your life very good. People may not respect you now, but God is working on your case. Look at your neighbor and say, God is working on your case. Look 
ugo leke adu matiga o konyarara ni ugo hana we ne komboro let me tell you this o gionire the first one wona de na form ni ugo amenyara dire no ugo kire thutha wa muthenya ucio ngi ungia korire ina form kwina andu marakuo no tari na form to ni umuthi god is about to speak in your life God is about to speak in your family. God is about to speak in your marriage and bring form where there was no form. Let every devil hear this. The voice of God will give us form in life. The voice of God will make everything beautiful in our lives. One minute there was nothing. The next minute the entire world the entire universe was built no koro tari kindu muthi but when god speaks into your life then everything is put in place don't allow anybody to intimidate you duge tikire mundu akurore nathi na mundu ngi akunyarare ni uri uri kana hari uri vidi ari na form muthenyo mwe Muthenyo cio ngege koro ina form within the difference what made the difference the voice of god what will make the difference in your life it is the voice of god there is a reason to why i'm teaching this so that we may be able to know how to pray because we shall pray after this the difference maker was the voice of god one minute there was nothing the next minute he spoke and the world was in existence I'll say this and I'm saying this because of the land that this ministry is standing on the voice of the lord delivers the land from curses and barrenness mugabo wa jehova okuraga matura kuma kwirumi na uthata wa mutheba wothe and i'm speaking to karura today and all the surrounding areas may god speak in karura may god speak in the entire of kiamba and deliver this land from every curse and from every barrenness may god speak in your life and deliver you from every curse and every barrenness in your life that is what the voice of god is able to do that voice causes the dead to come up and be alive to come alive This is why you see Jesus. He is going to the tomb of Lazarus. Jesus, when you read in the book of John chapter number 11 and verse number 43. John chapter 11 and verse number 43 saying, "Now when he had said these things, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth." The voice. The voice of God causes the dead to come alive dio nikki gikuo muture ni waku no mugabo wa ngai niguo utumaga indo iria shikwite shishoke muoyo na andu aria makwite mashoke muoyo kiria giothe gikwite muture ni waku let god speak to that thing and let it come back to life whenever he speaks there is change and there is deliverance you know one of the things that jesus used to do he spoke to all things he could speak to trees arageria ginya mete arageria ginya makombe when he speaks there is change something happens he says to a tree you are cast no body shall ever eat from you and so it was He speaks to the waves. Peace be still and the waves are still. When God's voice is in the sea 
every wave must obey the voice of God. I declare that even as we pray today, that God will begin to speak in our lives. I, I want to read one verse, one verse of, in the book of Matthew, chapter 8, verse 8 in KJV, in King James Version. This somebody who had a servant that was sick. Now the Bible says, the centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof. <laughs> now hear what he says. But speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. Eriye Jesu, niye diagere, we diagere ile we oke kwa kwa. No da koho ya terere, aria kiugo tu na du gata ya kwa neko hona. That's what we are talking about. God will speak in your life and change happens and deliverance takes place. So the voice of God is able to give you a new beginning. And I am praying this morning or this afternoon that God will speak in your life and give you a new beginning. The voice of God is able to scatter your enemies. I said number one, the voice of God is able to give you a new beginning. And number two, the voice of God is able to scatter your enemies. At No Everybody that has been opposing you. Number three, the voice of God is able to open the impossible doors. If the voice can cause the cedars of Lebanon to break, then he can be able to open impossible doors for your life. The voice of God is able to terminate every kind of sorrow in your life. Mugaboshi wagai no hote kunina. Ke hagi ove. Thini wa muto ure waku. Whatever has been bothering you, that voice of God is able to terminate. The voice of God is able to give you speed in life. There are people who are lagging behind. Adomatiki to anadhu the maroria toka kinyari. Dauka kukwela tere muga boa gai. No hote kwekira ihenya motorele ina waku. That you are able to overtake and to reach before others. Why? Because of the voice of God. The voice of God is able to give you the favor that you require in life. It is able to give you the kind of breakthrough that you require in life. It is able to give you the increase, the harvest, whatever you need in this life. This voice of God is able to deliver it to you. This voice of God is able to make your prayer request to become a testimony in your mouth. He is able. Look at your neighbor and say, what you need is God to speak in your life. And let me say this. You get it? The voice of man and the voice of the devil, they can never be compared from, to the voice of God. Whenever God speaks, things happen. He makes sure that things happen as he has spoken. Genesis 1, 
akinya thata wanu akimona mothe na akiona ni mega why because god follows his word to perform it gai arumagirira kiugo giake nigetha akihingie na gutire kiugo giga mucokerera kiumite kanua gake gitahingitie wira uri akirutite that's what the bible says in isaiah 55 verse number 11 that no word that has come out of my mouth that shall come back to me void so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth it shall not return to me void but it shall accomplish what i please and it shall prosper in the thing for which i sent it that is how powerful the word of God is. Whatever word he speaks, it shall not go back to him without doing what he sent it to do. As God speaks to your life today, I see there will be change in your life. Because I want us to pray, but let me first give you some few things. The Bible says in the book of John, chapter number 6, verse number 63. Hear what Jesus is saying. I want the second part of it, but it's okay. I'll read everything. It is the spirit who gives life. The fresh profits nothing. Now hear this, the second part of this verse. The words that I speak to you are spirit and they are life. When God speaks into your life, he envelops you with his own life. Show me the devil that will touch you when you are enveloped by the life of Christ. May God speak into your life. Look at your neighbor and say, may God speak into your life. You know, this God, he specializes in the impossible situations. He specializes in the impossible situation. We are going to go a Jorua. And I am praying that he will speak and the impossible will happen in your life. Now, as God speaks into your life, I declare that every failure will turn into success. As God speaks into your life, I declare, every breakdown will turn into a breakthrough. As God speaks into your life, every disfavor will turn into favor in Jesus' name. Every sickness will turn into health in Jesus' name. And every demotion will turn to promotion in the name of Jesus. Every closed door will turn to be an open door for you in Jesus' name. The only thing that will make it happen is the voice of Jehovah. He will cause every kind of discouragement to turn into encouragement. He will cause every kind of stagnation to turn into progress. He will cause every type of death to become life in the name of Jesus. I declare as God speaks into your life, Every curse turns into a blessing. 
every rejection turns to acceptance. I want everybody to be upstanding now. Every weeping will turn to joy. And every shame will turn to honor. There is a reason that God gave me this message. I want us to take time now. Having known what the voice of God will do in your life, I want us to take time to pray. And our prayer is, O oh Lord, speak into my life. Speak into my family. Speak into my businesses. Speak into my marriage. Speak into our ministry. Speak to our nation. Why? Because the voice of God makes all the difference. Mogaboa gai niguele haga otiganu metorele ineadu. Dereda tohoe tumere fa fa alia metorele ineitu. Alia family in a shito. Alia mawera in a maito. Alia canida in a wito. Alia gima in a wito amwere. Alia hado hove. Heta nitio naidui. That is the prayer. I request the praise team to come to the altar. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lead us in one worship chorus. And after that, we go to God. And ask him to speak into our lives. Speak to, into our families. Our marriages. Our church. Our businesses. And make the difference. In Jesus name. Over to you praise team.
your families, into your lives, into your families, into your marriages, into your businesses, into your jobs, into this ministry, into our nation. for your word this afternoon. We have heard what your voice is able to do. Your voice makes the impossible possible. Your voice brings change and turn around in the lives of men. Your voice delivers your children from every kind of calamity. We ask you this afternoon, let your voice make the difference in our lives. We pray that you speak into our lives to bring change, to restore us, to deliver us, and to do the impossible 
in the name of Jesus. Speak into our marriages. Speak into our families. Speak into our businesses. Speak into our jobs. Speak into our church. And speak into our nation, Kenya. And let there be change. Let there be transformation. Let there be deliverance. Let there be new strength. From your voice. Father. Where there was failure. Let your voice bring success. Where there was breakdown. Let your voice bring breakthrough. Where there was rejection, let there be acceptance. Where there was barrenness, let there be fruitfulness. Where there was discouragement, let there be encouragement. Where there was stagnation, let there be progress. Where there was weeping, let there be joy. Where there was defeat, let there be victory in Jesus' name. Where there was shame, let honor prevail. Where there was bad news, let there be good news. Where the doors were closed, let those doors open. And where there was demotion, let there be promotion. Let your voice make all the difference. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Everybody shout a big amen. Let's celebrate the voice of God that changes every situation in our lives. I pray that God will not only speak now, but he will continue to speak in your life. There are few things that we must do if God will continue to speak in our situations. If we are going to continue to be helped by the voice of God, there are few things that we must do. Number one is deepen your relationship with God. Say that again. Deepen your relationship with God. Number two, be sold out to his service. No, look at your neighbor. Just look at your neighbor and say, deepen your relationship with God. Tell them again, deepen your relationship with God. Number two, be sold out into his service. And number three, be an addicted giver. Number four, now look at him because this one is serious. Tell them, love what he loves and hate what he hates. And you shall continue hearing the voice of God. God will continue speaking in every situation in your life. And the voice of God will make all the difference in your life. Father, I bless your people. I declare that you are speaking and you will continue to speak in their lives and in their situations. And after all is said and done, they will carry a testimony that your voice has made the difference in their lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Everybody shout a big amen.
Let us put our hands together for the Lord and also for this great team as they get back to their seats. Let's celebrate the Lord more and more in Jesus' name. So anytime God spoke, there was change. There was creation. Whatever was not there in your life, the voice of God is creating it in Jesus' name. I want to ask this question if there is anybody in our midst you have never accepted Jesus as your personal savior. I want you to know only Jesus can make the difference in your life. If you have never accepted Jesus as your savior and you would want to be born again this afternoon, I request you to lift up your hand. I will pray for you to receive Jesus. If you have backslidden, I will also pray for you to come back into the kingdom. If there is anyone of that Kind, please lift up your hand and we will pray together with you. Okay. There is none. So, this is the time to worship God now with our offerings, with our tithes, with our seeds. So, please package your tithe, package your offering, package all the gifts that you brought into the house of God. And if you need an envelope, please lift up your hand. The ushers are ready. They will give you one. And the people that are online, on your screen, there is the pay bill number that you can be able to use to do your giving. And the money will be safe in the account of the ministry, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. When you're ready, we'll, we'll give thanks for the giving. Let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for speaking to us. We thank you for now giving us this opportunity that we give to the work of the ministry. As we do it, Lord, let every blessing that is associated with tithing, with offering, and with the seed. Let it envelop all of us. Bless the work of our hands. Increase us in every area of our lives. We thank you. We worship you. And we honor you in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. I request that today we lay our offering, our tithes here on the altar for today in Jesus' name. Just come lay them on the altar. Let them touch the altar.